Okay, so now I think we can start. So hello everyone. Thank you for joining us today to our virtual open day. My name is Mishket Benhamida and I'm the marketing project manager at Datum Academy. So if you have a bachelor of four years, if you are a career changer looking for IT skills, especially in big data and artificial intelligence, or you are a professional wishing to advance your career, let me tell you, you are at the right place. In this presentation today, along with Professor Serge Miranda, Masters Bihar and E. Bihar Scientific Director, and Dr. Evgenia Eshkina, Director of the Bihar Master, we will give you all the information you need to know about the Master of Science Bihar, its online version E. Bihar, and our micro credential Gradeo which are both uh, online trainings you could follow while working full time or part time. Thank you. And now, Professor Serge Miranda, I give you the floor. So glad to talk with you today and um, I would give um, a presentation of uh, the contents of BR and EBR mainly. And today we are focusing on students. Uh, we need that knowledge, that information, and we hope that after this uh, open day, there will be no question remaining for you. And of course, we can uh, deliver uh, some uh, and answer any questions regarding higher education in this uh, disrupting world of artificial intelligence and big data. So first of all, we are uh, uh, this um, Master of Science, BR, is uh, located at Estia. Estia is the School of Engineering in Biarritz, um, uh, in Bidar, close to Biarritz uh, Airport in the southwest of France. Historically, um, Estia is a school of mechanical engineering, industrial engineering, and um, computer engineering represent one dimension of Estia. And that's within that area that uh, the BR Master of Science on big data and artificial intelligence has started last October. Bonjour à toutes et à tous. Je m'appelle Patti Elissat, je suis directeur du campus Estia. Estia, c'est une grande école d'ingénieurs qui est située au Pays Basque, à, à côté de, de Biarritz, qui accueille chaque année plus de 1000 étudiants pour suivre des études en ingénierie, ingénierie mécanique, euh, électronique et robotique, et, et ingénierie euh, informatique et numérique. Outre le cursus euh, ingénieur, nous avons plusieurs masters spécialisés et masters of science, dont le master billard dont je vous dirai un mot tout à l'heure. Estia est membre de la conférence des grandes écoles, et bien sûr accrédité par la, la commission d'études d'ingénieurs. Et euh, Estia est associé à deux euh, établissements prestigieux de formation. D'abord, nous, euh, nous sommes établissement composant de l'université de Bordeaux, euh, donc euh, la plus grande université de formation et de recherche en Nouvelle-Aquitaine. Et nous sommes membres partenaires du groupe ISAE, le premier pôle de formation et de recherche en matière d'aéronautique et de spatiale en France. Dans le cadre du Master Billard, euh, dont vous aurez une présentation complète tout à l'heure, euh, je vous dire que c'est une nouvelle formation qui a été créée par l'Estia pour répondre à la demande, toujours croissante, des entreprises et des professionnels du numérique pour des spécialistes en matière de développement d'applications numériques, notamment en matière d'IA et de, et de Big Data. Cette formation accueille déjà une vingtaine d'étudiants pour la première promotion qui a ouvert en octobre dernier et nous euh, sommes à la recherche de candidats euh, pour euh, la deuxième promotion qui va démarrer en septembre prochain et qui devrait accueillir en présentiel vers 25 candidats euh, triés sur, sur le volet. Ce master-là pourra être instancié, pourra être dispensé à distance, 100% à distance, par le biais du master IBR qu'évoquera tout à l'heure le professeur Miranda. Voilà, merci à, à toutes et à tous de votre attention, de votre participation à ces, à ces journées portes ouvertes et à votre disposition et votre écoute pour étudier votre projet d'orientation à l'Estia l'année prochaine. Into. So, Master of Science BR and its online version EBR. 
concerning BR, is um, face to face master of science either in one year, 12 months or 18 months. Uh, 12 months is, as just said, a Mishka is uh, dedicated to students which could demonstrate a bachelor in four years or the first year of a master degree in computer science. In this case, they could enter directly the last uh, semesters of the program. Um, there is an artificial intelligence tract which is brought by the partnership we have with the University of Siena, which is one of the leading university in Europe on artificial intelligence. And every, and you will see as a, I would say some a, a specialty of whatever we proposing on internet concerning education, uh, the fact that every course, for every course, there exists a MOOC. There exists a MOOC in English and French for BR, which could be used as an external pedagogical resource for the students, or we can be used by the professor for flip classroom. But and of course, during this COVID era, that could be used also as a as a remote and um, an asynchronous resource. So what is the particularity of this BR Master of Science is that the hands on projects the students are developing. Uh, we call that innovation project of proof of concepts, POCs, on industry use case. And that's fundamental for us. Uh, that's uh, to, um, uh, to, to have this kind of practical experience for students who learn by doing. We call that experiential learning. And this stems from uh, our experience with MBDS at University of Nice with 30 years of functioning this way. So students are working on prototypes, real life prototypes. Um, we have also an international webinar. The, for this first year, we have eight seminars which are online on Datum Academy and the STR website. Um, we therefore are building an innovation and uh, innovation lab on big data and AI at STR. And we are now proposing just to demonstrate the dynamics we are proposing an Erasmus Mundus Master with University of Siena in Italy and University of Vigo in Spain. So here I would like to give a couple of words on this couple, big data and artificial intelligence, which are part of um, uh, the, the kernel of the curriculum. If you consider we, we are now when we enter what we call the first paradigm of science, that's Jim Gray, uh, who got the Nobel Prize in computing, would say that. So we are in this paradigm of the science of data. And with this, from a computer science point of view, there are two dimensions for data processing, data management and data analysis. That's a strong cup. And today we have a tsunami of data and we have uh, AI everywhere. So. We need, from a computer science point of view, to identify these two basic functions. And that corresponds to two highly demanded jobs. And um, you have data engineer for data management and data scientist for data analyst. And what we built here at um, BR, at Estia, is a strong partnership with two leading companies in the world for data management, that's Oracle, and for data analysis, that's Google. And um, every student is fully experienced with this professional interface on both aspects. So it's a professional master degree, fully certified at the European level. So you see uh, here also um, fully certified and I indicate the cost for the 18 months is 10K euros for the two years program. And for one year, it's 7K. But I indicate here that's the normal price, but we uh, STR provide excellent scholarships for good students and international students uh, from international academic partner or of course industry partners. Um, so we, um, what is the specificity here uh, for our international BR master degree is the fact that we have an international network of centers uh, 
connected with us with whom we may have a formal agreement concerning dual degree, dual master degree. And we have a student mobility and students can come from these international partners to Biarritz and get a scholarship, to uh, a partial scholarship. It could be up to 50%, it's not 100%, but it's 50% scholarship <coughs> to come to Biarritz to attend uh, our master. So I indicate here some key partners we have and we're building this international connected digital campus. We're starting with six campus in October and we plan to have within three years 20 campus in the world and that could be also interesting in order to exchange this uh, practical use case innovation proof of concept we, we're developing. So that will be a very rich set of use case in order to address any aspect of the economy. What is fundamental that you should take into account is that today big data and AI will revolutionize every aspect of the economy. There will be no area of the economy which will not be impacted by that. And um, also we have some uh, uh, strong consequence of that. Is that uh, for instance, the World Economic Forum estimated that 50% of the active employees in the world today will need upskilling in the next five years. So there is a major demand for something which doesn't exist in traditional university and we we providing, by the way, is um, what is called graduate at the European level. It's micro masters, part of a master program with dual certification leading to jobs. I will emphasize that today. So we identify three skill sets with it, this need for upskilling and reskilling um, within the BR Master of Science and sets corresponding to practical jobs. So data engineer and big data architect, that's one. Data scientist, that's another one. And then big data developer. And that represents, for instance, three, if you look at LinkedIn, the most demanded jobs in the future, uh, they give 15, 15 profiles of jobs in the future. And these three jobs are part of the 15 profiles of the future. So anybody who mastering these uh, these skills as a um, lot of uh, positive future in the job searching in the future. So I put these three jobs, big data engineer, software engineer, and uh, machine learning engineer. And you see uh, below the, the skills we are, which are provided within the curriculum in order to meet that objective, to reach that goal. So if you look at the Master BR second year in a 12 month program, you have two semesters of courses with an internship. Internship uh, corresponding to what we call sometimes master thesis. Both could be joined together. So at the entry here, you need a bachelor in four years or a first year of a master program. A bachelor in computer science or first year of a master program in computer science or equivalent experience from industry. And then you can also start it uh, one semester before and the uh, entry is here in January. Um, and here we could address any type of engineer in science. And this, the objective of the first semester is to get the foundation in order to get the second year. So this foundation in application development, in data management and data analysis. So that's the ambition of this first semester with always a practical um, hands-on project. So you have here the list of courses of the semester first, the first semester, big data fundamental, database fundamentals, database administration and tuning fundamentals, big data engineering, and then concerning software development, web programming and mobile programming. Then concerning big data analytics, uh, data mining, data machine learning, uh, artificial intelligence fundamental. And we have also another course. Of course, we're using R and Python for the reference language. And we have um, also a free course on, uh, we have a course on TensorFlow in order that every student master deep learning within their cur curriculum. And we have also another course, which is 
the math fundamentals in order to understand the concepts of machine learning and deep learning. And so what you need. And then second and third semester in the second year, then you have advanced data discourse, distribute, distributed big data management with Hadoop and MapReduce, cloud computing and blockchain. That's for big data engineering. For software engineering, you have uh, advanced courses on uh, virtual reality, uh, on NFC standard, cybersecurity, and advanced web and mobile programming. And for AI engineering, you have there uh, the two from uh, two important courses given by University of Siena on machine learning, deep learning, and natural language processing. Now the online version. So what is important to say is that we have the experience of EBR in the second master uh, online based upon MOOCs and the MOOC revolution date back 10 years ago in Stanford. But um, the, based upon that, we put on the market the two first master degrees in computer science based upon MOOCs. So EMBDS at University Côte d'Azur and uh, today we're talking about EBR from Estia, Master of Science. So we have two Master of Science online um, and uh, with the same ambition of being professional, leading to jobs. One focused on data management, the second focus on artificial intelligence. But we have the chance of, and we have therefore also an experience on, uh, on um, e-learning. The price is exactly the same. So here, the unique price, uh, it's uh, 7,200 euros. But here again, for EBR, it's not true for EMBDS where it's a fixed price, but for EBR, we managed to have part partial scholarships for top students. Um, and of course, special price for students from a partnering international university in a digital campus is what uh, I talked before. A special price for Oracle engineers, whatever it is, um, um, you can have a 50% uh, uh, rebate. So we have a French version starting in October this year. The English version started last year and the French version will start on sept beginning September. And um, we had a sponsoring from uh, an INR contract in France and another Franca uh, contract in Africa. And we have definitely, and we come back to that later, a strategy of developing EBR in Africa in French and uh, English um, language. What is the character, main characteristics here? All the course exist online. Second is fully European certified. 90 ECTS for EBR, 60 for uh, um, EMBDS, but that's exactly the same. And first, and also the professional interface. Um, these uh, master are not only theoretical, but we built it uh, strongly with key partners like Oracle and Google who provide extra courses for the students. If we look at Oracle content, Oracle provides us uh, with a dedicated uh, learning subscription. It's a, group, uh, it's a group of 16 courses from Oracle where students can select six out of them and one in the track database, second in the track Java, third in the track big, da big data, and the final in mobile application framework. You, you found the, uh, the, the skill blocks we were talking about uh, previously. Then you heard about Datum Academy. Datum Academy is a degree producer. We create that company within uh, Estia um, incubator two years ago. And uh, Datum Academy was in charge of delivering the two first master degrees in computer science in Europe online based upon MOOC with partnership with FUN, which is a MOOC based platform which exists in France. And you will see that we're not only producing master degree, but we're also producing micro credentials called Gradio in Europe. That's, I would say, one of the major gap traditional universities were not capable of um, uh, filling, but and today we have a lot of private companies
trying to provide um, um, courses in order to uh, to meet that demand of short uh, term uh, education learning um, corresponding to highly demanded jobs. And what we try here is to build top level graduates with uh, two courses, basically two courses, one from academy and the second from industry. And whatever we're proposing, we could have dual certification for every package uh, that Tom Academy is providing, either master or graduate. And among the assets, uh, of course, this um, European certified degree, the industry partners, top industry partners that I just talked about, and the international academic network we have in the five continents. So concerning BR, in order to come face to face to BRIs to attend the courses, we this year we had 20 students. We plan to have 24 next year. The program will start on October the 4th at STI, close to Biarritz. Um, and here you have the link in order to enroll. Concerning EBR, the applications are open also. And uh, there will be the English and French version, which will start uh, a bit earlier on September the 9th. And here also you can enroll right now uh, concerning this. I will just emphasize what are the four different differentiating um, nature we have for both uh, master BR and EBR. So I summarize it here. First, the curriculum is built around three skill sets corresponding to highly demanded jobs. Data engineer, data scientist, and web developer, web, web and mobile developer. Then strong professional involvement in order to reinforce the professional um, goal of the master. And the dual certification is possible. So we have Oracle for data management and Google for data analysis. Concerning the strong international partnership, we have the chance of having colleagues. Some of them are connected today um, all over the planet in the five continents. And we are working on building with them a digital connected campus or connected digital campus. And um, we are already opening six this October and we'll keep on just to the objective for us is to get more, more or less 20 uh, to 21 uh, to 20, 25 uh, digital campus in the world. So and then what is also important in this era of COVID uh, is what we call blended learning. For every course, there exists a MOOC in French and English. So students can have a, a complementary pedagogical resource and professors could have complementary pedagogical resource. So let's talk about Gradio. I just emphasize the fact that there is a, this race between education and technology. And therefore, upskilling and reskilling is of prime importance. Europe answered by Gradios. I just put here some figures. I will not comment on um, the, the need for positions in the jobs we identify data scientists, data engineer, etc. And you will see the big demand market and even the announced shortage by 2025. So that's, I would say, the bottom up approach we had for building BR. We started from the demand of the market and we build a curriculum based upon our experience on MBDS, which is which was built in the same way. And what is important is the fact that students work on proof of concept in order to create knowledge. So POCs correspond to creation of knowledge and we sharing this creation. So that's uh, the reason why MBDS was one of the most successful um, uh, master degree in computer science in France. It was uh, ranked on the top and we lesson from that the importance of learning by doing. So we have Gradios. Gradios 
as I said here, for upskilling and reskilling. That's a skill crisis identified by everybody by the fact that algorithms will impact every sector of the economy and of the society. So here, Gradios, there is a norm which has been de defined at the European level. You will see in terms of workload, in terms of European credit transfer system, ECTS, uh, you can see that in terms of uh, uh, duality, uh, industry and academy. And this duality is of prime importance. When you're talking about science, computer science, you have concepts and tools. So the idea of building this kind of pair, uh, course from BR and course from a professional partner, the idea was to create this pair of success for us the concepts in order to understand what you mean, what you're ma manipulating, and the tools to implement the concepts and to know how to use them. So this combination of two at the top level with Oracle Google in one side and with a master degree on the other side make for us a perfect pairing of um, certification leading to jobs. That's our ambition. And to fill the gap which would traditional universities cannot meet in the future. Sometimes I'm talking about multiversity. Uh, I use that word from uh, the former rector of University of Berkeley in the 60s, uh, when there were the first major disruption coming from the knowledge industry and the need for university to create knowledge for the society. And today we're living the same disruption with online, amplified by the COVID. The fact that we could deliver degrees uh, to students, Stu degrees will move from a platform to students. That's this disruption of prime importance. And the blended learning is one dimension of the future of any university. And therefore, I call that multiple form multiversity. And I use the same uh, neologism as uh, uh, care from uh, the president of Berkeley. So this, this is a first dimension, blend the learning. Second is skills, how to provide skills. Don't forget we have a race between education and technology. Don't forget now learning, which is a bottom-up approach from the needs for, of the market, is um, uh, as a frontier which is blur with traditional top-down education. We have to think about learning and that's exactly the way we build Gradio and the way we build the master BR and EBR within the, this virtual multiversity of the future. So a few words from uh, Valérie, who sent us. Um, Valérie is in charge of Oracle University uh, in uh, Southern Europe, and um, she gave a very nice, and I think we have a video. Hi, everyone. My name is Valérie Ayotte. I'm in charge of the learning department within Oracle. Since 30 years, Oracle is a partner of the master degrees in computer science of the professor Serge Miranda. We are fully part of the data management component of the MBDS and EMBDS master degrees of the Université Côte d'Azur, as well as BR and EBR of the engineering school STR. We have also developed for these master degrees an exclusive learning subscription, a digital subscription on big data. The subscription includes 15 courses from which you will have to select six to complete your master. On top of this, we do offer free trainings on some IT foundations that also serve as prerequisite of the master degrees. These trainings allow you also to pass accreditation badges to validate your knowledge. In addition, aiming at continuous and vocational learning, we integrate specific courses on SQL and Big Data. These digital courses complement the online courses as well as the Gradios. Gradios represent a new micro accreditation system launched by the European MOOC Consortium. Gradios courses are of very short duration and are fully recognized, fully accredited they can be used to pass college degrees. They are particularly designed and adapted to our time in a rapidly changing context. We hope that many of you will join one of these programs in order to differentiate yourself in the market. 
I obviously remain at your disposal. Please do not hesitate to contact me if you would like to know more about Oracle trainings. So Oracle is uh, has a new program called Student Learning Subscription with using in all the graduates. That's courses, about uh, 30 to 40 hours courses. Um, and I put in yellow the one we using in our um, in our um, graduates, joining them with a course with a MOOC uh, from BR. So around the, the course, you have a, some constraint, six month duration. Um, you have a certification which is included. You have um, lab access in, and this cloud focus. So that's the access to the cloud that enables students to have practical hands on on the different tools. Then I think uh, Felix was uh, connected uh, some um, some minutes ago. I don't know whether it could be live. So Mishket, uh, Mishket, let me know whether Felix is online. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, Felix uh, had some technical issues uh, to connect with us. But um, yeah, I think we you we will um, give you later all the replay of this uh, presentation along with videos of Valeria Yot, Pachi Elisald, uh, Felix, uh, Manu Aron. Uh, so uh, you all participants uh, won't miss anything uh, from them. Okay. Thank you. So we'll ask uh, Felix for a video like Valeria, which will be online too. OK, thank you. So the, anyway, what is the type of partnership we have with Google concerning data analysis? We started now, I said in October, just to indicate next academic year, but if somebody enrolled for the gradio we have with Google, then it could be uh, immediate, it could be in the next uh, uh, next opportunity. So we have um, um, this concern, the French and English version of EBR, and of course, the students um, also enroll at BR in uh, BR Eats in uh, at Estia. Uh, Google offer two free professional courses they have on Coursera. Uh, this course exists in French and English, not with subtitles. They exist in French. And the two courses, the one is on Data Cloud Ar Architect. That's a job. Second job is Data Analytics. So I put there the reference of this course and you will see uh, later how you uh, well you are faced with uh, Coursera and um, that Tomb Academy received uh, for every enrolled student either at BR, EBR or uh, Gradeo. Um, they provide the, the students with the ID and uh, in order to access free to the courses. And just to let you know, you will see that uh, last year on Coursera, uh, the last course I, Google proposed to us on uh, Google um, Data Analytics was the most successful uh, professional course in the US with more than 100,000 uh, professional certificates sold by Google. So we have. Um, I already comment that the fact that the gradio from BR um, are flexible enough to meet the demand of any skills in new technology, in artificial intelligence and big data. So if we have um, uh, uh, two courses, the, co the course is 500 euros and three courses, two academic courses with one professional course is 1000 euros. Most of the course are pairs, so are built with two courses. Every time we have just to emphasize just what I say, the concepts and the tools. So one course, academic course to understand the concepts and one professional course to know how to use them practically with hands on project. And we provide professional certification and ECTS. So I just emphasize the fact that here is top um, pairing, um, higher level pairing, top level pairing for dual certification leading to jobs. So that's the list of gradios 
we are proposing from BR, Big Data Architect, SQL Data Manager, Data Scientist. The three uh, first ones, uh, they, uh, they were already, some of them were already given. They are starting um, uh, in uh, September, but you can enroll now and start with professional courses immediately. So that's also possible. And then we have um, four other courses which are built on the pair I talk, concepts and implementation. So on full stack, web mobile developer, cybersecurity engineer, uh, blockchain developer, and DevOps and Scrum uh, project manager. So I emphasize this BR Gradual in September. Um, in September, it's for the academic course, but the professional course can start earlier. And now we, let's look for students um, at e-learning platform and enrollment process on FUN, Oracle, uh, with the Datum in interface. So here for now, I leave um, the floor to Mishket from Datum, which will uh, comment FUN platform. So that's Thank you. for you, Mishket. Yeah, thank you, Professor Serge. So uh, as you can see, uh, the FUN platform, and it will be the same for all your e-learning platforms, they are all intuitive. So we've tried here in this presentation to give you a kind of a preview, uh, you know, uh, so you can imagine yourself as a learner and hopefully you will be one, you know. So uh, as you can see on this slide, uh, so you, it's, it's very intuitive. You have the description of the course on the left on the right you have your deadlines for all the modules of courses uh, and you have also your uh, deadline concerning the end of the course on the next slide please professor so you will have um, all as you can see all your modules and the videos so all your courses will show up here um, and you can also have, um, you know, a chat with the learners and the professors. For example, uh, adding a post so you can ask your question concerning uh, an exercise, concerning a specific topic, concerning your course, and you will have the help from the learners with you and also the professor. So do not worry, you won't be alone. You are always surrounded, you know, <laughs> with uh, with people who want you to succeed and because it's our, you know, it's our goal and we will do everything to make you learn in the best uh, condition possible. So after we, we can have a look on the Oracle Learning subscription, so please, Professor. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. So as you can see, here is uh, an overview, uh, like a preview, sorry, of the learning subscription uh, exclusive for us uh, called Big Data, Java and Database Learning Subscription. You have all your learning path and each in each learning path you have the courses. It's very intuitive. Uh, after we have the Oracle student learning subscription for Gradio. Uh, that's what Professor Serge Miranda earlier was talk talking about and explaining to you with much more details. And as we've told you, we're very sorry we had uh, some technical issues. So you will find uh, Valerie Ayot, who is the sales director of Oracle University. Uh, you will find her video in the replay we will send you in a few days. So as you can see here, you have the learning path of the course and in each learning path you have the courses. So it's always like it's working the same way. And after we have the Google enrollment for Coursera, so as you can see for Google courses uh, in your Gradio, you will have uh, to go through Coursera platform and it's very intuitive. Maybe some of you uh, already know and already used uh, this platform. As you can see, there are 93,000 en enrollment uh, in, the, in the course data analyst. And concerning now, now the enrollment process on Datum Academy for EBR, 
Uh, so the online version of BR, it's very easy. Uh, we So when you go on our website, www.datamacademy.com, you just have to click on enroll now and after you will have a very first short form. Uh, you will have to fill the form with your name, job title, a valid email. It's very important uh, and a password. You click on register and after you will be redirected to the enrollment page and all the details concerning the enrollment page will be uh, found in the extra slide of the presentation we will send you because as I said earlier you will receive both the replay and the presentation in PDF version. So after we have uh, the gradual enrollment on fun platform. So when you go there, you just have, as you can see, you have all the description of the gradual. Uh, you have the duration, the effort, like six hours per week, or it, you know, it will depend concerning, uh, depending on which gradual you you will choose. You have the date, the registration date, the language. It will be mostly in English, but it will be in French too. Uh, and the price, and after you just have to click on enroll and you you have and after you are redirected sorry in the checkout form so and you you just you know fill in the form so first name last name email very important please make sure to put a valid address email it's very very important uh, because it's the one that will be used for your graduate training so it's the address mail uh, which will be used to communicate with you to tell you okay now uh, you have uh, these tutoring sessions okay now your exam will start in two weeks or three weeks so it's very important thank you professor serge miranda and i give you the floor again just to finish since i am um, talk about this digital campus we're building in the world and we're starting and i have colleagues connected uh, today in order to hear more about. That stems from um, our experience at international level with MBDS. And that stems also from the first year, uh, the first cohort of students we had with EMBDS. What is fundamental uh, on e-learning? And that's something you may have heard with them when Mishka presented the, the online courses, it's tutoring. The success of online learning is tutoring. And in order to enhance this tutoring, we build in some dedicated countries within existing universities, a digital campus. With this, within a digital campus and with this university, we sign a formal agreement in order to build a dual master degree agreement and to have tutors, to have marketers, to find jobs, to find students, uh, to give uh, guidance to the students, etc. So we already signed with the, uh, and uh, we are signing with the uh, larger series of universities. And um, the idea here, and very rapidly, and we not comment much uh, on that, and I could come back for with the colleagues on that point. Uh, when we cr create a Datum campus or a digital connected campus, um, which is aimed first at tutoring and providing a blended master, uh, blended BR master to the students. Um, uh, we're looking towards uh, having a, a group of 20 EBR students. That might be seen as an international track we're providing in an existing master degree in computer science. We provide an international track which is blended. Some course could be given asynchronously with MOOCs or synchronously with a professor remotely. So that's part of uh, uh, any situation which could change for uh, many uh, on many aspects. Um, that's for us the third place for learning. There are home, there are universities, and at the third place. And we invest one third of the revenue in the local functioning of uh, this digital campus. We'll start with six uh, in October, two in Africa, one in Vietnam, in Da Nang, one in Haiti, one in Cyprus, and one special in Tahiti, in the University Francaise of Pacific, uh, University Francaise du Pacifique. Here it's a special because it will be a two years master degree 
with the miage of University of Lyon who's settling. So we'll experience a two years master with another French university providing half of the courses and we providing EBR courses. Uh, so that's something passionating we're building with the Miage of Lyon, Ma Miage Master. And of course, we're discussing with a lot of countries. So concerning uh, different regions of the world we're building, we receive funding in order to have the French version of EBR and mainly for French speaking Africa. So we have a focus there. Uh, we're starting in two countries in October. That's a minimum, maybe more. Um, will be Ivory Coast and Ma Madagascar, uh, Esatik and ITU. And we plan uh, uh, to open to 10 African countries. Uh, so we're discussing. And um, here, Africa represents a major challenge, not only for, um, uh, I would say, French university or international universities, but for higher education. Um, uh, estimation from UNESCO said there is within 10 years a huge demand for higher education in Africa. And if we look at that, we need to think about multiversity as I define. I mean, we cannot discard the online dimension. So that's the reason why we are emphasizing this um, objective and uh, have a former student, uh, Merlin, um, uh, he was uh, one of my uh, top uh, former students, he was from Cameroon, now he's working at Google in the US. As a former student of the second promotion 9192 of the MBDS of Professor Serge Miranda, and currently principal consultant in the Cloud Partner Engineering team at Google in Silicon Valley in the United States, I work particularly to develop strategic partnership in the field of big data analytics and artificial intelligence applied mainly to 5G and edge computing technologies. We see a huge demand, a huge need for skills in these areas. I therefore strongly support the deployment of the Bihar Master and its eBihar online version in Africa and internationally. In the areas of big data and AI, there is a huge demand of skills um, in the world, not only in Africa, but since he's, for Camer he's from Cameroon and he said that, his supporters as much as he, as he can, our master BR and its online version for Africa. And Cameroon is one of the objectives we have, but not in the short term, could be in a couple of years. I talk about the fact that we have a free uh, webinars. Uh, it started this year, so they are online on Datum Academy and the STR website. So you can see this international webinars. All of them were in English, but one. And then uh, that will be important for Evgenia, uh, who is a director of the uh, master degree at Estia, to give some words on the way students get visa, application, settlement uh, in Biarritz. So, Evgenia, if you're there, I leave you the, to comment this. Or yes, of course. Thank you. So uh, I'm in charge of uh, VR Master of Science degree at ST Engineering School, and I'm responsible for all the administrative and academic uh, issues. So for those of you who want to uh, join us uh, at ST for face-to-face -face, uh, Master of Science VR, you should uh, first uh, apply uh, on the site presented on this slide, the candidate, the uh, candidate.estia.fr. Uh, and we need uh, your identity documents, uh, your previous diplomas with uh, all the transcripts, uh, your motivation letter, curriculum letter, and also it's better if you can provide uh, us with uh, some recommendation letters from your institution or from your employers. Uh, then uh, uh, for those uh, applicants who are eligible, so who have a necessary amount of uh, ECTS credits, uh, we organize interviews uh, in order to know, uh, uh, to, to check uh, the competencies, the prerequisites, um, to discuss about, um, about the objectives of, uh, of the applicant. And then we inform you about, uh, um, about the result of uh, selection process. And uh, for uh, those applicants who are accepted, uh, we provide them with all the necessary documents, all the support for uh, visa application and for campus grants procedure 
in the most countries there is Campus France uh, uh, procedure to do before apply for a student visa. And then uh, we provide you also support with uh, um, accommodation booking. Uh, there, are uh, there is a student's residence in Bidar, where is, uh, there is STM engineering school, and also there are some partner campings uh, uh, where students can have bungalows, or well equipped bungalows with uh, internet connection. Um, and uh, there is also a platform for, with the different uh, offers from individuals. So we support uh, students with uh, uh, their research of accommodation. Uh, and the uh, approximate uh, budget will say it's about um, uh, 500 euros for those who will uh, uh, rent their accommodation uh, individually, or it could be uh, less expensive if you can share uh, this with uh, with a friend. So we provide all the all the necessary support, and uh, uh, I'm open to uh, to answer your questions uh, today or or after this event at uh, the mail presented here via at uh, stia.fr. Thank you very much. Thank you, Evgenia, for your comments. So for any question regarding uh, the face-to-face -face master degree at STIA, you can contact Evgenia and you have here the uh, generic email. For any question regarding the Gradios and online EBR, you have to contact, uh, contact Mishke, which uh, just talked uh, with, uh, with me today. They both talked with me. So conclusion. Um, I love that word, BR, that also could be a name. That's an acronym for Big Data Intelligence for Human Augmented Reality. But um, we are now located in the Basque country, um, in the southwest of France. There is a beautiful language here, which is not French. And uh, BR means tomorrow in Basque language. So as a conclusion, I say see you BR, BR to change the word. So now any question we could answer and uh, of course there is no limit. We give extra slides uh, to the presentation in order to address some topics more generic, more strategic on higher education, multiversity in one, one thing, the AI market in order to identify the skill crisis, etc. That's on the extra slides. Also the fact that sometimes I have questions about MBDS and EMBDS I created it at University Côte d'Azur, which still goes on, and we plan also to have a French version. So we'll have uh, both the two first masters in computer science online in Europe, fully certified, fully professional. Uh, we are um, uh, producing them, and we are very happy and pleased to do that and to develop radios around that. Thank you, Professor Serge. So yes, actually we have some questions. So the first one is from Apia, uh, which is asking, she's asking, can we obtain financial aid for these masters? If so, what are the conditions? So I can I can answer very rapidly. If she's a top student, she will have a scholarship. So we have excellent scholarship for students. So as said, Evgenia, you should uh, uh, have um, um, transcript of your grades. They should have also um, uh, accreditation uh, set, uh, we'll say uh, uh, letters of support um, from professors. So then we have a committee and we looking at the other way. That's one way for individual to get a scholarship. If there are top students, then we'll have a 50% scholarship. Uh, second, students coming from mobility through the digital campus we're creating in the world. So today, that would be the case for uh, some countries um, with whom we are finalizing an agreement. And I say there are about, um, uh, there will be six countries uh, this October. So if they're coming there with, uh, of course, uh, selected by uh, local professors as good students, and um, they will also have a scholarship. And of course, Oracle engineers, we already got the course and uh, access to the course. They got also 50% scholarships. Or if it's not an Oracle, somebody who is already certified, Oracle could be from any company which already got the Oracle certificates, um, then also can have a 50% scholarship. 
Thank you. So the second question is from Mufida. She's asking, uh, her question is only about the fees. So uh, what is the cost, I mean, uh, for the, both master degrees and uh, also if we can work during our training? Thank you. So th that's concern, I think, the online version, EBR. EBR is for continuous education. So there are some people working and at the same time taking a master program. Of course, you see that uh, you have at least uh, two academic courses a week during six weeks, and then you have um, uh, totally uh, five periods of this time. So during um, uh, nine months, you have uh, two courses uh, a week that represent um, 10 hours of personal work every, every week just for the academy. And then you have the professional course. So of course, if you're working um, in the evening and working on the weekend, that's something you can do while working, while having a regular job. So that's uh, EBR enable this versatility, this um, uh, flexibility in order to do that because the courses are given 24 hours a day. Um, so they are online during one week. Uh, so students can at any time from any country in the planet connect and uh, get the course. And what is important with the MOOCs is the fact that every week, there, and that's recorded, there is a video tutoring with the professor in charge of the MOOC. Okay, it's collective video tutoring, but it's a tutoring. And then we try to enhance with the tutors and um, with the tutors existing in the digital campus, a digital connected campus, and also every student enrolled at BR has to do what is called a master thesis or internship. They're already working in a company. They don't need the internship, but, but they do need the master thesis. And they will have a tutor, um, an academic tutor, uh, <coughs> attending them and eventually exchanging with them. Thank you. So now next question from Asumatin. She's asking, I'm interested in this master degree. I am living in Saudi Arabia. Can I do it online? How much will it cost? Well, the price is the same whether you are in Saudi Arabia, Brazil or, or Russia or China. Yeah, the cost online, the online cost is 7,000, uh, 7,200 7, euros. That's a typical cost you have today for any person on the planet um, enrolled in, in that master program. And that's, you see, that's exactly the same price, uh, whether you are face to face or online. So we, yes, that's possible. We have also uh, what we call an ambassador in uh, Qatar for the Gulf states, which can connect it with her and um, uh, our colleague uh, could um, interact with her. We'll have somebody representing uh, BR in the Gulf states. So that's an area uh, where we are interested. And the courses and the two master degrees are online in English today. They will open in French uh, for um, EBR in October and that's, um, that's open, but no problem for that. Thank you. Now, next question from Media. Hello, I thank you for the opportunity that you give to everybody. Several are a lot of person who graduate with a bachelor and don't have possibility to have a master. My question is, I have a bachelor in biological and applied medical science. Are there some masters on this sector? Thank you. Uh, OK, so here that's another interesting question. I, I will try to generalize this question that you see that the ma BR master, which is in at Estia, could be uh, satisfied for bachelor plus four in computer science or master first year in computer science, one year program. Same for online. Online today concern just this profile. Concerning Est at Estia, the, the program could be in one year and a half. And we plan here to accept any student having a bachelor in three years, whatever its discipline. Eventually, he will have to, um, he will have to do some, um, and that's a resource we have from Oracle, what is called badges. He may need uh, some computer science basics, 
and we provide them before entering the first semester of the BR master degree. But here the ambition is for students coming from other disciplines saying, OK, for any good reason, I would like to um, apply for um, uh, I would like to apply for a master degree in computer science. That's possible with BR in the uh, two years period of time. Now, if that's somebody who already get a bachelor or a master or a PhD, uh, that's the case in mathematics, in whatever the field, but we just need um, certifications, which are professional certificates to get to do upskilling, to get a job, as I said. Then it will have a gradual. That person who could be interested for long term, if she needs a master program, she can come in the very first year at Testia. But if if just needs skills to become a data scientist in our field, biology, chemistry, marketing, whatever, I recommend her to invest in a gradual. On AI, of course. Thank you. Now, next question. Would you be open to partner with you to deliver this program as well from Jean-Jacques Rousseau, York University? Do you mean distribution of that? I, I don't know. I, I don't understand pretty well the question. So. Yes, I, th I think. Well, we can move on the the other question. No, uh, so this one, this one yeah. uh, you have to say to Jean-Jacques Rousseau to connect to, with us. Yeah, yeah. Whether that's what I was thinking. <laughs> maybe, maybe the idea here uh, could be to create a digital connected campus in its university, and yes. that's possible. And that's yes. what we're doing in 20 universities in the world. We're going to do that. Uh, could be in Italy, could be uh, today in Cyprus, in um, in Lyon, could be in Tahiti, could be in Haiti, could be uh, in Africa, could be in Asia. Uh, so everywhere on the planet in Europe, of course, we can do a digital connected campus. We plan to do that in Romania and we plan to do that uh, soon in, in Russia. So that's open. OK, next question. Can I enroll in the online version if I'm an undergraduate? Um, so for the on, the answer is no. In order to be accepted to the online version, you need to demonstrate. Yeah, there is an administrative point. You need to demonstrate you have at least four years, um, either in a bachelor or in a master program in higher education. So you need to demonstrate you have this. You can have a complete master in, in mathematics, in chemistry, in marketing, and then you eligible to apply. But in order to go to the online program, you need to have a background in computer science, at least at the level of four years after the baccalaureate, a bachelor level. And of course, if you have years of experience in computing, then you can, of course, you can apply uh, to demonstrate that you, your experience enable to demonstrate that you have this level. Thank you. Now, next question. How much it costs Bihar? And can we study only the second master or we must repeat the first master? Thank you from student of Professor Kazar Ogba. Um, hello, hello, Kazar from uh, uh, Algeria. Uh, ask me this question, but I didn't catch very well. Uh, so, say that first, so, so first, what is the cost of Bihar master? And after, can we study only the second master or we must repeat the first master? I think what the student means is that do we have to follow? On, can we follow only the second year of the master? Or do we have to do master first year and master second ah, year? Okay. But as it's a master of science, it's only. I mean, I I, I will let no, you no. answer that. So there is. Um, I think the question here. You can do the very first year, one semester. You get thirty credits, thirty years CTS, and then you can decide if we have an agreement with Algeria. Then you can eventually keep on in the second year of a master program in Algeria. That's possible. So there is. Uh, just uh, that could be part of the dual agreement we'll have with the University of Biskra in Algeria. If we have so, 
then you can spend one semester in France and, and then transfer the credit to keep on in Algeria. Or conversely, you start in Algeria and you get the first year of a master program in Algeria, and then you come to France just for the second year. So that's kind of flexibility we may have as soon as we sign a dual degree agreement, uh, that will be part of the agreement. So that's possible, okay? Um, um, that was a question. And then concerning the first question, the price, the one uh, it didn't change, the price is uh, 7,000 and uh, 7,000 euros and 200, uh, 7,200 euros. But you can have scholarships, for instance, since we have this agreement uh, underway with the University of Biskra, uh, you could benefit from that if you are a top student from Biskra. And my colleague uh, Kazar is uh, writing you a letter of support, then you could be naturally eligible to the scholarship. 50% scholarship. Thank you. And now the same question from uh, uh, another question from the same person. She's called Hannah. Uh, so is it necessary the French test in campus to register? Is it necessary to what? Um, I mean, uh, I, I think she's talking about Bihar. Is it necessary to take a French test in order uh, to register on the and, you know, be able to go to the campus that, in presential? That's that's a very good question. Um, you need to demonstrate. Uh, I know there exists some um, uh, level of expertise in French and English. I think you should be fluent in English and French in order to attend the courses. I ask you the two languages. First is English. Um, some courses could be given in French, but most of the courses um, could, will be delivered in English. Um, but of course, if you're living in France, it could be good to be fluent. So there is a level. I forgot the number, the number, but that's part of the um, interview. That's the reason why also you have an interview. The interview could be part in French, part in English. And the second, uh, there is a B1 level or things like that. Um, maybe Evgenia, you know the yes. level of mm -hmm. English yes. and French, which is yes. required. B1, uh, I saw something like that. Uh, um, so, uh, as uh, Professor Sajmaraga said, uh, the most part of courses or DR courses face to face um, are teached in English. So, the most important requirement is for um, your English level. And we uh, recommend to have a B2 level, so it's upper intermediate level. But we don't uh, require uh, certificates, official certificates, but you should uh, demonstrate. Uh, uh, demonstrate this level during uh, our interview. And um, uh, then as for French language, we have a small part of courses uh, teached in French. And uh, for all these courses, we have also equivalence online courses in English. So it is also recommended to have B2 level in French, so up intermediate, but uh, we can adapt uh, this, uh, this point. So the most important is English level. Thank you. So now we can move on. OK, so we have the same question from Han uh, another question from Hannah. So concerning Bihar, can we work during the training? It would be uh, difficult to work uh, during the training because uh, um, our courses are five, uh, five days per week. Uh, so with, uh, and you, you cannot work during six months of courses from uh, starting from October and until March. And then you have an internship. You have a six months period to do your internship of four months or minimum. Thank you. So we have another question from Sri Kala. Industry aligned curriculum and academy partnership is really attractive. What if I am passionate about 3D vision and gaming? What these industry provide elective tracks in this area also? Does the industry experts from these industries handle courses or is it certified people from academy? Excuse me, sorry, could you repeat the yeah, question? Yes, I, I, I mean, there are three questions in one, so we will do step by step. I think it's better. So, Srikala is telling us, industry-aligned curriculum and academy partnership is really attractive. 
What if I am passionate about 3D vision and gaming? What these industry provide elective tracks in this area also? Uh, they're talking about elective track. So for gaming, for instance, we have one course on virtual reality and um, um, and um, amplified reality, uh, augmented, uh, um, reality augmented. augmented reality. We have one course of this type uh, because that's for me fundamental in terms of advanced programming and because that will be part of many applications in the future beyond gaming. But that's today mainly used for gaming, but um, we can uh, have, a, I know for instance, top application in the area of health, of medicine, um, and in the area of maintenance, we could imagine this kind of application in the future. So uh, for me, um, that's one, it's not an elective course, it's part of the curriculum. I, we consider it's of prime importance. There is a huge demand of the market on this type of know-how, on this type of skills. That's the reason we elected it as a normal course, not an elective one. It's part of the curriculum. Uh, the idea is whether we do we, are we going to build a gradio that we didn't find today. Uh, we didn't find today. Maybe we have to f to look at it um, towards a course um, given by uh, Oracle and Google on that field, which could complement the one we have at BR. But that could be part of the future. That's something we didn't look at, but that could be interesting. We have to look at it. Thank you. And uh, I mean, it's the last question. So uh, about the same from the same person, does the industry experts from these industries handle courses or is it certified people from academy? Concerning the tracks, the gaming tracks, etc. So concerning the gaming track, what is exactly the question? Sorry. In so, those the industry experts from these industries, so I think from 3D vision and gaming industry, handle courses or is it certified people from academy? No, no, this course is given by an industry person, specialist of um, um, virtual reality and his courses is based on Unity, for instance, Unity platform, in order for students to develop applications for Oculus and um, interface but also for smartphone because also that will be the major ambition of people working there is having a top level applications running on uh, smartphones but today we students experience oculus uh, this year um, for the course on unity okay thank you Even so by industry. okay thank you professor so thank you all for being with us today um, so we were very glad to be able to explain to you how amazing these trainings from Istia in partnership with Datum Academy, Oracle University and Google are because they meet today's tech demand on the market. So as I've said earlier, you will receive in a few days the link to, the, to this presentation replay along with a report mentioning all the questions you've asked today uh, with its answers and the presentation in PDF version. We remain, of course, at your disposal, so do not hesitate to contact us if you have any kind of question. Um, so if you have a question regarding the Bihar Master of Science, please send an email to Dr. Evgenia Ishkina um, on Bihar at uh, istia.fr. If you have a question regarding the EBR, Master of Science and Gradeo, please send me an email on contact uh, Academy. I'm writing, uh, I will write both emails on the chat and you can find it on the presentation we will send you soon. So thank you, Professor Serge Miranda and Dr. Evgenia Ishkina. And I wish to all of you a beautiful weekend ahead and let's take your education one step further and get the best possible preparation to access bottleneck professionals, professions that are in high demand. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. And bye bye. See you soon.